In this video, let's learn about the clavipectoral fascia. It is a strong facial sheet that lies deep to the clavicular head of the pectoralis major muscle, filling the space between the clavicle and the pectoralis minor muscle. So this is the investing layer of the deep cervical fascia. This is the subclavius muscle. This is the pectoral fascia. This is the pectoralis minor muscle. And this is the pectoralis major. So this overall lining is the clavipectoral fascia. This is the suspensory ligament of the axilla. This comes the anterior axillary fold. And this is the axillary fascia. Now let's learn about the extent. Vertically, it extends from the clavicle above to the axillary fascia below. So this is the clavicle bone. To the axillary fascia. This is the vertical extent. This is the sagittal section of the anterior axillary wall. Let's see the front view. This is the subclavius. This is the clavicle. This is the costoclavicular ligament. This is the pectoralis minor muscle. This overall is the clavipectoral fascia. This is the first rib. The short head of the biceps brachii. This is the coracobrachialis. The coracoid process. And the coracoclavicular ligament. As I said, the vertical expansion is from the clavicle and to the axillary fascia. Its upper part splits into two to enclose the subclavius muscle and the posterior lamina with the investing layer of the deep cervical fascia. And then it gets fused with the axillary sheet. The anterior lamina gets attached to the clavicle. So this is the posterior lamina. And it is the anterior lamina of the clavipectoral fascia. Its lower part splits to enclose the pectoralis minor muscle. And below to this muscle, it extends downwards as the suspensory ligament of the axilla. And then which is attached to the dome of the axillary fascia. The action of this suspensory ligament of the axilla is to keep the dome of the axillary fascia and it is pulled up thus maintaining the concavity of the axilla. So this is all about the vertical extension. Medially, the clavipectoral fascia is attached to the first rib. So this is the medial relation. Medial relations. It is attached to the first rib and to the costoclavicular ligament. And it blends with the external intercostal membrane of the upper two intercostal spaces. And then it blends with the external intercostal membrane of the upper two intercostal spaces. Now coming to the lateral relations. Laterally, 
It is attached to the coracoid process and it blends with the corococlavicular ligament and the thick upper part of the fascia extending from the first rib the near the costochondral junction to the coracoid process is called as costocoracoid ligament. So this thick upper part of the fascia extending from the first rib near the costochondral junction from here to the coracoid process. So this thick part is called as costochoracoid ligament. This thick part of the clavipectoral fascia is the costochoracoid ligament. So the points to remember the clavipectoral fascia encloses two muscles. The first muscle is the subclavius and the second muscle is the pectoralis minor. Let's know about the structures piercing the clavipectoral fascia. So this is the clavipectoral fascia. It is the axillary vein. This is the axillary artery. And this is the lateral cord of the brachial plexus. So these are the labels of this diagram. Now let's see the actual structures, those pierce the fascia. The first one is thoracoacromen artery. The thoracoacromen artery that is the branch of the axillary artery. To see the video of the axillary artery and its branches, you can click on the I button. The second structure that pierce this fascia is the cephalic vein. This is the cephalic vein. To know the origin and the course of the cephalic vein, I have made a detailed video of cephalic, basilic and the median cubital vein. You can click on the I button. The third structure that pierces this fascia is the lateral pectoral nerve. So this is the lateral pectoral nerve. And the fourth structure is the lymphatics. So these are the lymphatics. So guys, this is all about the clavipectoral fascia. If you like my video, do subscribe to my channel.